Just a quick update for you lot to know where I'm at. I'm currently sitting around 70 kg on this bulk right now, and this is a 100 kg squat for 12 reps. I'm really happy with how my squat's coming on. I've been really focusing on trying to prevent my ankle dorsiflexion from kicking in, which is basically just lack of mobility in the ankles and joints. One thing I've been doing for that, obviously, is ankle mobility work, and as well as that, when I'm squatting, really trying to plant my feet in the ground. And as you can tell, I'm wearing flat shoes now, because before I was having ones with a bit of a chunk at the back of the heel, which made me almost roll a bit, because the shoes just didn't fit as tight as well so that is definitely something i'm focusing on and i'm really happy with how my squats are coming on and as you can see i was hitting decent depth i was hitting parallel so i'm really happy with that also my joints used to ache a lot when i was working out and one thing i just want to touch upon quickly is how to prevent your joints from aching so obviously one thing i do is consume a lot of fish oils from salmon and tuna but as well as that i take cod liver oil tablets every day two of them a day i think they're around 500 to a thousand milligrams i believe so and that's what I take, two of them each day. And as well as that, drinking water is so important for your joints. Not a lot of people notice this because your joints are made of something to something like 60 to 80% of water. So when you drink loads and loads of water in your day, your joints are just going to feel so much more replenished because they have that in them. Do you know what I mean? Basically, again, because they were starved almost from having any water there. So one thing I definitely recommend is upping your water intake as well as that eating a pre-workout meal before you work out just to ensure you have maximum energy for the workout and here's a clip of me talking about cardio and the importance of it following these leg curls sorry this was a short video for the workout footage i simply just didn't record much on this day and then i done calves at home so obviously i don't record that thanks for watching the video guys and please let me know what you think about this next clip of cardio and whether or not you agree with me because I think this is a really good topic but can be very controversial. Thanks for watching the video guys. You're right guys, welcome to the video. We're going to talk about cardio, okay? Something which a lot of us neglect and a lot of us don't do. The importance of cardio, the benefits of cardio and why you should do cardio, whether you weightlift or not. So Cardio benefits your cardiovascular system, i.e. your respiratory system, your organs, everything inside of you it basically benefits. It allows your blood to flow through your body a lot more, it benefits your heart rate, it benefits your pulse, and if you notice a lot of people who are generally fit, they have a slower pulse than others. That don't mean you're dying or whatever, because when you do more cardio, your heart becomes stronger, so it needs less blood to pump around when you're just standardly resting, should I say, on standby mode almost. So does cardio benefit your body? Yes, the simple answer is cardio is great for your body and it's really great for your long-term health. If you're on this for like longevity or whatever it's called, you need to be doing your cardio. So bodybuilding and cardio, a lot of people think you lose gains if you do your cardio, that is completely incorrect. That is a false fact, so to speak. And a lot of people say this as a joke, but a lot of people take this as a truth as well. And a lot of people think if you're an ectomorph, you're a skinny build, you can't do cardio because you won't gain weight. Simple reason is, if you are an ectomorph, let's just clear this up, the reason as to why you're not gaining the weight is, like, a lot of weight, should I say, is because you're not eating enough. Simple shit, eat more calories. So, let's speak about the gains and the losses. Do you lose gains, like I said, when do cardio? No. The only reason as to why people think this is because you're putting yourself in almost a deficit because you're doing this cardio, you're burning extra calories. So, say you do cardio for, say, 10, 20 minutes and you burn 200 calories, all you've got to do is eat an extra 200 calories and then you're back to where you're normally at. So if you're bulking, you can still do cardio. It just gives you more reason to eat even more calories. So quite simply, I don't understand as to why you wouldn't be doing it. And all of us do cardio when we're cutting to put us in a more deficit. And is cardio a good thing? Yes, because it just means you can still eat as much as you want, but you can do more cardio to almost reverse the effects of eating all that food. And like I said, cardio is so good for your heart and just for your overall fitness and I think a lot of us neglect it because it's difficult and when we're putting on mass, just like loads of us don't realise, even when we're putting on muscle, we're putting on mass, we're putting on weight on our body, which all puts a strain on your heart and this is what you've got to keep healthy because if that buggers up, you're gone for life. So cardio is something you should, like, should definitely do, whether you're bulking, cutting, maintaining, being fit, whatever. If you're a fit person, you're in this fitness industry, you need to do cardio. Don't neglect it simply for just, just in the moment sake almost, just like, oh, I can't be bothered to do cardio, I don't want to do that. Just get on and do the bloody cardio because if you're taking your life and your health seriously, 
you should do your cardio. Some people are going to take this the wrong way and be like, you're trying to say to people, you're going to get massive, you're going to get big, you're going to get healthy and fit just by doing cardio alone. No, obviously there's way more to go into it just to get fit more than doing your bloody cardio. But cardio is a great thing we should all do and not neglect it. So it's just something I live by, something I swear by, and don't try and give me this bullshit saying, oh, but I lift weights, so that's cardio. Lifting weights is not cardio, okay? Yes, it gets your heart rate going and such, but you lift your weights and then go run a mile on a treadmill, I'm sure running that mile for you feels a hell of a lot more difficult on your cardiovascular system than lifting them weights. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Leave your comments down below in the comment section below. And do you even cardio, bro?